Even if you are not a terrorist, and we assume if you're watching, because you probably aren't, you may well be on a terrorist watch list. Thousands of Minnesotans find themselves with that problem as they were flagged by the Department of Homeland Security. Tonight, a new plan to help innocent travelers clear their names. Glenn Barber here now to explain. Glenn? Well, Cindy, the problem typically comes up with people who have common names, and Senator Amy Klobuchar says that new legislation is needed to get Homeland Security to come up with a better way for those people to clear their names fast, because she says the TSA's current system isn't working. You probably don't know it, but when you check in at the airport, your name is checked against a watch list. Are you a terrorist? No. But Christine Anderson was nearly denied travel on a plane because of her four-year-old son's name. I asked him, I said, you know, how, how do I get him off this list? And all I got was, yeah, good luck with that. The TSA says children are not on the watch list, but despite repeated attempts to clear Little Jack's name, Anderson says she continued to encounter delays. It just seemed a rather discouraging. The same thing happened in Tokyo to St. Paul realtor Jim Miller. They took my passport. About 30 minutes later, they came out and explained very nicely that you terrorists, but no, not you. You go. The government knows they're not terrorists. I've been on the list, off the list, and back on the list. So the TSA launched a program last year to help eliminate the huge number of false positives. The TSA says it now gives lists of cleared names to airlines every day and that it's up to the airlines to match names properly. It will improve the Senator Amy Klobuchar now wants Homeland Security to create a new system that more accurately helps those who may have been wrongly identified as threats and creates a comprehensive cleared list. Unfortunately, Homeland Homeland Security and the TSA have not exactly inspired public confidence in how they've handled this. TSA officials tell me that airlines could soon face penalties for not taking the required steps to clear passengers' names when these problems arise. Right now, the TSA recommends asking the airline to store your birth date in their system and to fill out forms on their website. Senator Klobuchar plans to meet with TSA leaders later this week in an effort to push her legislation through. Reporting live, I'm Glenn Barber, 5 Witness News. Thanks.